Welcome back to whatever this is. I'm back here. And now I'm up here. First of all, first thing I want to say in this video, go green. So I'm probably going to spend the next, I don't know, 17 minutes breaking down the game. And then we'll spend like three minutes on TikTok because that's going to be the point of this video. Um, and then after that, well, actually, no, before we get into that, before we get into the game, I wanted to um, see how far I can push the envelope because I'm pretty sure I have like a get out of jail free card. You know, like I'm pretty sure I can say whatever I want on here and there's going to be no repercussions to that. So I'm going to test that right now. I'll count of three, two, one. Not today. Maybe. I don't know. So in today's video, um, I talked about a couple weeks ago, I sort of brought up TikTok. I sort of gave you guys a, a very quick, I sort of gave you guys a very quick rundown of uh, what it is and like how you can be using it. And at the end of the video, I was like, hey, if you guys are interested, if you guys actually liked this video about TikTok and you want me to go a little bit more in depth about how to maybe actually use it, let me know. Um, I did get uh, more than uh, more responses than I was anticipating about like, hey, go more into, on TikTok. So that is exactly what we will be doing today. Uh, I'm going to be sharing my screen. So on this side, or I don't know, maybe this side, I haven't decided yet. I'll throw up the screen recording of my phone. I'll just be showing you guys exactly what TikTok looks like. Um, and we're just going to hop into it right now. So let me grab my phone. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when you open up TikTok. Now, if you are freshly downloading the app, you've never been on this app before. One thing to note, it's not great if you have not already been using this app. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, there are two pages, so to speak, on TikTok. You have the For You page which is the algorithm uh, on what TikTok thinks you want to see. And then you have the following page, which is pretty self-explanatory. You find content creators that you like and you follow them. And that is where you'll only see people that you follow. The For You page, however, um, uh, basically attempts to learn you. It learns what videos you watch all the way through. It learns what videos you uh, like and engage with. Um, it, it, it even goes, which is some people probably consider creepy and it, it probably is. Um, but it, it even learns if you see a video on the for you page and you're interested enough to go check out that person's profile, it then tracks how long you were on that profile to gauge whether or not you liked it and to whether or not they should show you more content that is similar to the profile that you checked out again, a little creepy, a little bit too. It's very smart. There have been a ton of articles written about this AI uh, and how ridiculously, I mean, yes, from a uh, outsider's perspective, it's very creepy, but from like an actual, uh, I don't even know what kind of perspective, but uh, it's very interesting. It's crazy. It's because it's how amazingly smart it is. Anyways, point being, land the plane you open up the for you page or your your app you've never downloaded the app before you're brand new your for you page is going to be probably the worst place on the internet that will ever man, that's not true it's going to be a very uncomfortable cringy compilation of videos because what the for you page is essentially going to show you is tiktok is like oh well we're just going to show you all of this super uh, liked videos, all of the highly viewed videos. And most of those are going to be verified content creators that are um, just doing stuff for views because they know that it's think of like cringy pranks and stupid stuff, right? So until you actually start using the app and having the algorithm um, know you, it's going to be it's going to be a little hard. So um, Again, you also don't even have to technically use the app. You can literally, you can pretty much just post content and call it a day. You don't actually have to be a user of the app. And, and I'm just going to guess that most of you will just end up being users. So how do we create content? Well, uh, you can see down here on the bottom, uh, that is where our, our navigation is for the, for, for the most part. You have your home, your discover, a white box with the plus, which that's where, you know, that's like the 
the video creation portion, your inbox, which is like your notification center, and then your profile. So if you click the white box down in the middle, that is going to bring up me. It's going to bring up you or me. <clears throat> and uh, there's a bunch of things that you can technically do on here, but I'm only going to show you the bare basics. I don't even know which camera to look at right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at you. Um, I'm only going to be showing you guys the bare basics. And for the most part, here are the things that you need to look at. So first of all, we have the flip button um, right there, flip button. So that's if you want to use the back facing camera, that's up to you. Um, there is a beauty filter. So I'm just going to show you guys what that one looks like. What really happened there? I mean, really beauty filter. It just kind of smooths the skin. Some people use this, some people won't. I don't really care, obviously. So I'm going to turn that one off. Um, filters, again, self-explanatory. Timer, uh, if you're setting your phone down, maybe, and you're not actually having it in your hand, uh, that is when you can use that. But the main thing that I want to talk about is if you, one, took a video outside of the app. So if you just took it on your camera, or you know, you can just, you've already made the video, and you now you're ready to upload it. So that's going to be down here where you would upload it. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that because that's just my camera roll and I have a bunch of Halloween photos of me and my friends. But it's, just, it's the same concept. It's just going to go into your camera roll. You can pick and choose um, all, of the, all of the videos that you guys want. Now, the other one that I want to talk to you guys about is the effects panel. And that's going to be on the other side of where the... Um, the upload was now there are a bunch of these and this is one of the knocks that i i don't like about tiktok is there this is doesn't make any sense you can't search for effects nor are the effects labeled they're just these dumb little icons that you have to press and figure out what the heck they do the only one that i'm going to suggest that you guys use is going to be the the green screen why would you want to use a green screen? Well, uh, for any reason. So like if you wanted to pull up uh, a chart or an article or a photo of a house that you want to be talking about, what's going to happen is you can go over, you can scroll over and click green screen. Now there's a bunch of them. I'm, I'm aware. The main one that you're probably going to want. Nope. Definitely. See, here's the problem. I didn't, I don't know. Now I'm just a ghost. Oh, this is, this is terrible. Let's go back to the trending um, one green screen. Boom. There we go. So this background is uh, just TikTok's background for you. The, you don't. What you would do is let's just scroll through and find a random photo. Here we go. This is a photo that I took of one of my many windowsills for no reason. It's still in my. I don't know why it's still in my app. But let's say that this was um, in a uh, article about why Zillow has stopped their iBuying program because they uh, paid way too much for houses. Shockingly, I know. Um, you could have that on the screen right now and then you could just talk about it. And so what happens is, is when you have the green screen on, the photo stays put. And then obviously if I move my phone around, I move. So if you want to talk about something right there, it's, it's also pretty good about mapping you um, as you can see, I'm clearly in focus most of the time. My microphone is like right here. And sometimes it, oh, look at that. It's pretty smart. Maybe too smart. But point being, um, that is how you use that. And then, um, okay, so let's just quickly, oh, why is there music? Ah, so up here, I feel like, can I turn the music off? Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. So up here, you'll you you see that's the, the little music bar. Um, that's showing you a that there's a check mark and b this is what music is going to be playing. We're not really going to go into too much detail about like should you have music, should you not have music. Eh, probably not. Um, so if you don't want it, just click the X button, and that's that. So you go back, um, you hold it. You can also like zoom in. Oh boy, on my face by just going up and down. So you can see like the red button is going, that's because I'm moving my thumb up and down. So if you want to add for dramatic effect, 
do that. And then from there, once you're done with it, once you're happy, it'll take you to basically the preview screen so you can watch it over again. I've turned my sound all the way down because unfortunately you can't pause this. It's just gonna keep playing on a loop because that's what TikTok does. It plays the video on a loop, very much like Vine, if you remember that app at all. Um, but one of the other things that you can do is let's say that maybe it's maybe you're not on camera, maybe you just have footage of stuff. If you wanted to add a voiceover, you can do that. Uh, I just tried to point, but I'm not on screen anymore. Um, on the right hand, right, right hand side, set second one from the bottom is a voiceover. So you can essentially talk over whatever your clips are of. You can also add captions, which I would highly recommend doing um, because the TikTok algorithm does love captions and you don't even have to do them. They're gonna auto generate. So if you click that right now, um, you can uh, do that. And you can obviously edit them and peruse just to make sure that they're actually right. Um, and you can just save that. Uh, and then from there, if you wanted to adjust your clips, that's gonna be the second one from the top. Um, let's say that maybe uh, you wanna cut the last like three seconds off, you can do that. Are you sure you want to adjust new clips? Yes, um, and then it's very, it's just drag and drop clips. If you want to add music, um, that's gonna be on the bottom. If you wanna add text uh, to maybe like give a title or something, uh, we can call this tick tock demo. And then uh, you have different, you know, basic stuff. We're, we're gonna go, we're gonna go neon and then we're gonna change it to, I feel like the neon isn't doing anything. And uh, once you pick your color, once you, then you can be done with that. And then you can make it large just by like pinching and squeezing, just basic phone stuff for the most part. And then from there, uh, you can click next. And uh, I'll tell you this right now, hashtags do not matter one bit. I don't care who says anything, hashtags do not matter on this dumb app. Um, it doesn't matter. So post them, don't post them, doesn't really matter. From here, it really doesn't matter what you do from here. It doesn't matter if you post uh, a, a title or you know a caption, if you will, of like what actually is happening. It really doesn't matter at this point. From now, it's in the TikTok users' hands on whether or not they're gonna watch your video. Um, and then from there, you post it. Or if you wanted to save it to your drafts, you can save it to your drafts so that you can post it at a more optimal time. Much like any social media platform, there are ideal-esque times um, to post them. So you're just gonna have to figure that out because I don't really know. I mean, if I had to guess, most users are probably gonna be more towards the end of the day. So like after school is out, after work is out, that's probably when the primary uh, heavy use. So anything like from like six to nine, six to 10 is probably a solid uh, point or a solid time frame to try out uh, your videos. And last but not least, let me just stop this screen recording real quick. The last thing that I wanna touch on about the app is I saw, I actually saw a video yesterday <clears throat> and it was about a guy who uh, was, who posted what, one TikTok every single day for 167 days. And he documented his journey from zero followers to 100,000 followers in 167 days, just by posting one video every single day. The videos weren't amazing. They weren't great. They weren't groundbreaking. They weren't eye-opening. They were just normal videos. So I point being ending on this, uh, if you are, if you are consistent, the app will reward you. If you are consistent on any social media platform, that social media platform will reward you. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Let me know. I'm, I'm sure there's other things I can talk about with TikTok and how to use it properly and how to optimize your profile and blah, 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 blah. But this video is already getting long, so I'm going to end it here. But if you want more TikTok content, feel free to let me know. Thank you guys for watching this far. And as always, I will see you guys next video.